Hello all, it's Sharon. In today's video, I'm back with a library book haul. Now, I don't have all the books that I wanted for the month of November because there was a recent issue with the Toronto Public Library website. So some books that I did put on hold didn't get sent to my local library, but we were able to get uh, some books that we needed for the month of November. So the first two books are for Remembrance Day. That's coming up in November 11th in Canada. So this one has, you know, just been information about facts about why Remembrance Day is important. There's also the poem here that we'll be going over. So that is the first one. And then I also got this one. And this one is Canadian Holidays Remembrance Day. And this has more, like, information. And there are also realistic pictures of events that happen and why Remembrance Day is important, different symbols of Remembrance Day. So we'll be reading this. Some important words to know. And then after Remembrance Day, we have Diwali, which I also did request a book about the Day of the Dead, but that book never got delivered. I couldn't find one in the local library, but we have another book that we read for the Day of the Dead, which was at the beginning of November on the 2nd. So Diwali is the celebration of light. So I just grabbed this one. This one just has the celebrations and different stories. Again, pictures and the importance of Diwali. For the month of November, Nate wants to learn about squirrels and bears and learn about the hibernation of bears. Now, squirrels don't really hibernate, but they do build shelter dens where they... You know, they run out, get their food, and then they kind of hide in their little dens throughout the winter. So he really likes squirrels. That's one of his favorite things to do on nature walks is feed the squirrels. So this first book is just squirrels, backyard animals. I love the pictures in this book. But yeah, this is kind of what they build during the winter time, And they, you know, store all their food or inside trees. But this has tons of information about squirrels, where they live, what they eat. So yeah, that looked like a really fun book to go over. And then we didn't get any books about bears delivered to the library, but we happened to find these two in the Long Branch Library. So we got Animals of the Forest, Black Bears. I think the one I ordered was the National Geographic book for kids that was all about bears. But again, this talks about the life of bears and what they eat and their habitats. So lots of great information. And then Nate found this one, which is all about grizzly bears. Showing a map of where they live and again just packed up information of where you can find them and um, their diets and what grizzly bears do. But yeah, really nice books. I love the pictures in them. And then we got this one which was animals hibernating. So this talks about all different types of animals that do hibernate. Like, we're going to be going over how some animals do hibernate throughout the winter. Some migrate to warmer parts. So, different types of burrows and where they might choose to hibernate. Some even, we are talking about the bears especially. That's like his favorite subject right now he's actually working on a cave 
that he has little plastic bears that he's kind of make them a cave and pretend that they are hibernating. But yeah, this is a really great book and again, packed with information. And then I always let Nate pick out a book that kind of goes with our theme, but it's not like, you know, it's not real like bears or squirrels in this one. This one is just like a little reader book. And this is Bear and Friends, A Scarf for Squirrel by Highlight. So it just looked like a fun little book. And when he saw the bear and the squirrel together, he thought it was, you know, fun little read. So yeah, cartoon drawings, just a very few words on each page. But yeah, perfect for that learning um, level of like preschool to kindergarten. So this is perfect for him right now. So thanks a lot for watching this library book haul. And I will talk to you in my next video. Take care and bye for now.